Panther Nation, fantasy folk, draft family, what's good? This is Dave, one half of PNP, and I'm here to talk fantasy. But before we get started with that, I just want to let you guys know that our, our channel was hacked, but everything's all good. Videos should be coming back up. Short, videos should be coming back on the channel shortly. We still working with Google. We'll see how what what they rolling with before we decide to make an executive decision. We still have all the content. The content will be back up very soon. So, yeah, it was scary, but we good to go from that standpoint. Rashad is Rashad is working on it on his end, um, and we'll go from there. And another thing I wanted to bring up, man, I you know, I we me and Rashad's been doing this show for four years, a little over four years at this point. And then, and like, there's a lot of folks who hop out and hop in the chat. And then there's, a, there's some folks who are like always in the chat and we just lost one of those guys. So 704 Charlotte bound, shout out to you, my man. I know you, I know you're in a better place right now. Condolences to, to your family. It's a very, very tough, tough loss. Rest in peace. Now, Shout out to Lunch Break Hot Take. Um, but we're good to go. But I, you know, originally I was going to, typically when I do my fantasy focuses, man, I normally, I um, I record and then I would just post it. You know, occasionally I'll do some slides. But considering what happened to our channel and what happened with 704 Charlotte Bound, I decided to just do this bad boy live. Um, and I'll take fantasy questions as well. Uh, so... I'm assuming that the audio is good because I haven't heard anybody say that you can't hear me. Um, so, but I wanted to get started to discuss how to handle when there's an injury on a team, particularly pre prior to the season. Um, because sometimes your, your draft strategy is going to change a bit and I'm, and I'm pretty much going to use two examples. Um, so let's start with the first one. Um, the first one is Carson Wentz. Uh, Carson Wentz recently had a pretty pretty rough injury, um, saying that he's going to be out five to twelve weeks. Uh, it's on his foot. Um, so it looks like he's going to be out five to twelve weeks, and you know. And I think there was a few. There's a few folks that people were going to be willing to draft, including Carson Wentz. Uh, when you start thinking about whether or not he was going to turn it around, he might. He was more of a sleeper quarterback to take. Um, but then there might be other people like your T.Y. Hilton's, your Michael Pittman's, your Jonathan Taylor's, and things of that sort. People that you would have drafted the Colts defense, things that you would have drafted um, if. You know, with Carson Winstar, but now with that injury, and on top of that, Quentin Nelson, arguably the best guard in the NFL, um, he also got the same injury, so he will probably be out five to twelve weeks as well. So you can anticipate that neither one of these players are going to be available at the beginning of the season. A lot of folks haven't haven't done their draft yet. Um, so from that standpoint, you can uh, start thinking about how to handle it. Now, I know a lot of folks had Jonathan Taylor in the top ten. Um, in fantasy drafts, I would say he probably will stay within that range because um, long-term wise, he's probably going to hit, he's going to probably fall into the top 10 from a fantasy perspective at the running back position. But somebody like Naheem Hines gets interesting all of a sudden. And part of the reason why I say that is because now you're going to have situations where the Colts might be falling behind more often. Now you're going to have the, now you're going to have the opportunity to them having to get having having to throw the ball to one run, running backs more more dink and dump type of situations more check down type of situations so now you're going to have that opportunity all right so from that standpoint um Nahi Himes gets interesting from a fantasy perspective he probably will be able to uh he could probably be a, he's probably going to be a top 25 running back in fantasy for the first month. Um, so from that standpoint, you're going to have to take that into consideration. He's going to be a little bit higher on the boards because of that, because he's worth 
he's playable. He's a flex running back at a minimum. Um, so from that standpoint, Naheem would go higher up in your boards a bit with the loss of Carson Wentz. Because now the games are not the games are going to be interesting at this point. Now, as for the wide receivers, I don't know if I'm going to be like you're definitely not going to be drafting T. Y. Hilton as high Hilton as high as you were before because now you, you you're and then you got your Michael Pittman's and there's other wide receivers that the Colts have. I don't think I'm going to touch in any of them from that standpoint. The only one I would probably be willing to take a chance on would be Pittman and Hilton. But now I'm, I'm probably I'm probably in stay away mode for both of them. Um, because I think that's going to get affected more than anything else. Jacob Eason, I don't know if I feel like we should be out here trying to draft him. I think he's probably a good, you know, quarterback if he's a streamer, depending on the matches at the beginning of the season for the Colts. So I don't know if I want to – I don't know if I'm willing to sacrifice that level of – for that player from that standpoint. So, like, when you you talk about how to handle the Colts situation – you could draft Jonathan Taylor in the same plot, spot that you would have normally drafted him. Naheem Hines gets higher in the totem pole a little bit because I think he's going to get more opportunity. Um, he's probably going to have opportunity to get five to seven catches, maybe close to eight to nine targets because they're going to do a lot of dump offs now with him. Um, so from that standpoint, um, Hines value goes up. Taylor's value stays about the same. Colts wide receivers fall. Colts defense potentially falls because if you think that Eason's going to give you turnovers at the beginning of the year, I don't think it's going to be a high tier defense like we anticipated. Um, so I would stay away from the Colts defense unless they're playing a terrible team. Uh, but the bottom line is you have to start thinking about these things when it comes to player come to player injuries because certain players are going to affect everything else around it. And Carlson Wentz is a prime example of that. Another prime example of that is Michael Thomas. So Michael Thomas was battling injuries all last season and, you know, they, and, and, and I guess he had an ankle issue and they made the decision to not have surgery immediately after the season was over. They were hoping that it would heal on his own. And it looks like it didn't heal on his own. And Michael Thomas is going to be out a certain amount of time. So from that standpoint, I think Michael Thomas is definitely still draftable, um, but he's going to probably, he's going to fall a couple rounds. Like I don't think I would touch Michael Thomas to the fifth round at the earliest at this point. Um, so from that standpoint, Michael Thomas takes a dip. I have Alvin Kamara higher now. Um, I am getting, I am having some level of concern with the the signing of of uh, Devonta Freeman from uh, to the Saints, but I I'm still thinking that Kamara is probably going to be the top the top guy. Like I've I've incre- I've I've made him Alvin Kamara the number one fantasy player on my board. I put him ahead of McCaffrey. I put him ahead of Derrick Henry. Because as long as Michael Thomas is out, Alvin Kamara is going to get the love. So from that standpoint, I like Alvin Kamara a lot. Jameis is probably going to stay Jameis. I think Jameis is going to be a factor. Um, his his performance is going to is going to link up with the system that they currently have. And I don't know if I don't know if I'm ready to start guessing on the wide receiver situation with the Saints. Um, because it's it's unpredictable right now. I mean Traquan Swift, Traquan Smith is probably the guy. If you're willing to put a flyer on somebody, I'll put a flyer on Traquan Smith. Uh, but from that standpoint, I don't think I want to touch too many of the wide receivers for the New Orleans Saints. Uh, yeah, man, we got hacked, bro. You know, I always say if you get, if you if you if you're hot, if you're hot, you get hacked, man. You know. It is what it is. It's kind of crazy. Rashad told me what happened on his end. It's kind of crazy. Luckily, they all they did was put all the videos private, so we we got we we took care of it. We we're good to go. Yeah, man, it was kind of crazy. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's still early. It's just camp. Shout out to Pat. Who do I got as the RB1 in the non-PPR lead? Derrick Henry. I mean, you probably could do still do Christian McCaffrey, but I think Derrick Henry. Yeah, so we're good. Like, Rashad is working to get the videos back up right now. Like I said, when I first started the stream, I was going to 
record this video and then post it later. But then after the whole hack thing, I, I thought it was important to, to hop on in and just do it live. So I just made the decision to do it live. So I'll take fantasy fantasy crushes right now. Uh, yeah, Derrick Henry's first, then Cook, then probably McCaffrey after that, um, in my opinion. Um, you know, you kind of – the PPR is not as important um, from that the point. The, the receptions aren't as important as the yards are, the carries are. So you tend to try to go with more of the, the bell cow running backs. Zeke, Zeke Elliott will probably be higher uh, from that standpoint. I think McCaffrey wouldn't fall below top five and not PPR, though. Like, I mean, probably McCaffrey's third. Um, because he's still going to get all the work, and that's still important from that standpoint. But Derrick Henry's ahead of him there. Um, Donald Cook's ahead of him there. Yeah, Cook, Cook is Cook is Cook and his injuries is always a thing, which is why you got a handcuff. You got a handcuff. Um, so from that standpoint, you always got a handcuff when it comes to that. Yeah, Taylor, Taylor, look, man, I think he, Taylor's going to see more nine and ten men in the boxes now with, with the injury of um, with the injury of Carson Wentz. Like, we just went over about what how to handle it. Yeah, I mean, there's two ways to look at Jonathan Taylor. Either you think that Taylor's going to eat more, or you could think of it as Taylor's going to get the opportunity, but now the, the defense is going to know to shut him down and force Jacob Eason to beat him with his arm. Um, and that could happen too. It all depends on how much faith you have in Frank Reich as a coach and, and how to make proper adjustments. So, but it's going to get interesting to say the least. Well, they just lost their best guard. So somebody that Jonathan Taylor will go behind, he's out. He's got the same injury as Carson Wentz. So that changes the game just a tad too. So you take those two things into account, it makes it interesting, man. It makes it interesting. But yeah, man, it's been a crazy day, man. I, I was kind of sad about what happened to 704. I was kind of dis- I was it was kind of shocking, knocked me off a bit. I mean, I never met I never met the guy in person, but I know he was always in the chats. And you know, and he was very passionate about the Panthers fan base. And he wasn't just in our chats, you know, he was he was in he was in uh Pat Coltrane, former everybody that that does independent Panther Panther work, he was involved from that standpoint. So, hey, buddy, how you doing? I'm live. What's up? You can go use the switch. All right, he can't use the switch. I'm live, though. I'm sorry. That's my concern right there, man. Quentin Nelson, Quentin Nelson's loss is is going to be bigger than what people give it credit for. You're talking about the best guard in the NFL, and and he he and he built holes. That's gonna that's gonna cause an issue. Yeah, yeah, man. Like, it's uh kind of crazy. But you know, I'm still I'm still kind of I'm. I'm I just I respect I respect what people bring I, I respect what everybody brings to the channel. You know, I know myself and Rashad works hard, Big Cat probably busts behind, Pat busts behind. So to get the support, it was kind of tough to hear that one of our supporters passed away. Um I don't know the circumstances. Um I know that uh let me see. If you want to give Give me one second. If you want to give something towards his family, I don't want to be I don't want to be incorrect about that. Um, stand by. Let's see. Chuan Don thirty seven. Um. If you take a note to say it's for our 704's family, that individual will make sure the money will get to uh, to his family. So I'll put it in here. That's the cash app if you want to give money towards his family. Such a tough loss, man. 
So condolences to his family. So, but yeah, man, if I just put it in the chat, I just threw it in the chat. Uh, it should all work. I mean, um, Cash App is, is not case sensitive, so it should be fine. Uh, no question, man. There's always love. You know? Life is more important than anything else. But, um, but yeah, man, like, from a fantasy perspective, we're, um, you just got to Pay attention to the adjustments. Think of, you always got to think about what else it can affect when there's somebody that gets hurt. And especially when a quarterback gets hurt, it can affect everything. Now, there might be occasions where the guy, the backup comes in and ball out of his mind. But there's, but you know, sometimes it's not the case. You know, Carolina has a problem, that problem. I'm not going to be interested. Like, I think I would have faith in DJ Moore because DJ Moore is um, showing. Tuh. Listen, man. When you're hot, you get hacked. When you're hot, you get hacked. But all the videos are coming. All the videos are coming back. I pray for you. I pray for the Discord brothers and sisters, though, because it looks like everybody, everybody is um going to be there. I, I disagree about the Colts season being over because the Colts division is not that, other than the Titans, not that good. Can manage it. They could probably get somebody else in the paint. So from that standpoint, not that bad. The Colts, the Colts should not trade for Kirk Cousins. What do I think about the fight in the New York Giants camp? Um, I think, I think Joe Judge is not going to be there much longer if he doesn't have a really good year this year. That's fake news. That that's fake news right there. We ain't have a hugger. We had just somebody talking about crypto. And the funny thing is, there's another crypto video that actually was live, but ours was not. Even at one point, he had a thousand people viewing, which is impressive. What's going on, Jared? Cam, Cam, yo, man, Cam is going to, Cam's going to, I told you guys Cam's playing the full season. I stand by that. I'm standing on that hill. We ain't get, dude, we'll be lucky to get anything. The Colts will give us, the Colts, you might as well just, yeah, it's funny because PJ could get cut depending on who wins the, the backup job if they decide on the Q2 quarterbacks. The Colts are going to roll with what they got, man. We'll see what happens. It's going to be interesting indeed. Judge Joe Brown, man. Judge Joe Brown. Man, we ain't getting nothing for PJ Walker. We'll be lucky. We'll be lucky if they even if they if they give us a seventh, we should take it. We should run and get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Eason's it, man. And the bottom line is, do not draft Jacob Eason. Okay, guys. Wouldn't it be crazy if Jacob Eason walks up in there and starts balling and then Carson Wentz is out of a job again? Wouldn't that be wild? Wouldn't that be insane? It would be crazy.
I don't think so, man. I think they're gonna roll with Easton and see what happens. I think they I think they I think if Carson's out for 12 weeks, because the range is crazy. You're talking five to 12 weeks. If Carson's out for 12 weeks, then there's a there's a there's a situation at hand then. Yeah, but you can be a five-star QB and be a trash NFL quarterback. Let's see. But everybody thinks this guy's better than Donald. Everybody think, thought this guy was better than Teddy Bridgewater. Uh, who was injured during practice today? Um, where was it? Where's the chat? Uh, uh, Keith Kerfwood was injured during practice. Uh, it, it's looking like he had a concussion. He's already out the hospital. Um, so it looks like he's going to be okay, which is a good sign because I, he was on the bubble to make the team. So, so I'm, I'm glad to hear that he's going to be okay. I mean, I watched it, man. It was a dirty hit. Um, the bottom line, like if you're somebody that's, that is fighting to be on the team, I kind of, I kind of. I kind of feel like, you know, you got to know better than that. I think the coaches have been trying to send all these messages. And I think, you know, they had to make, they, they needed them. They wanted to make an example out of somebody. And, and unfortunately, this is an opportunity to do that. I mean, this guy wasn't going to make the team anyway off that standpoint. So it was, so he was expendable. Give me a second. Let me see if I can make this happen. Let me first find the video. And then let's see here. All right. Let's see. All right, you guys can y'all can't see that. Hold on. I catch that. I'm assuming you guys can hear the audio, but give me a second to blow this up a bit so you can actually see the video. Can you guys see that video? Can y'all see it? I'm assuming you can. Hold on. Let me see. Nice. Gotta catch that. Is that Rashad? That might be Rashad talking. Nice. Gotta catch that. Nice. Gotta catch that. Was that a low hit though? It might have been an issue with the low hit more than anything else. Well, I know he was there. I just, I, I figured that was Rashad. Like, I know he's there. I know he's been going every day. Shout out to Rashad for doing that, too. Yeah, but, you know, they're trying to play it safe, man. You know, you know our coach right now has no interest in some crazy hits. After what happened with McCaffrey earlier, a few practices ago, you know he has no interest in hearing about it. And I guess he laid it to the guys. So yeah, he ain't 
he ain't in that he ain't in that life. So Rashad's a superstar, man. He out here on viral videos, man. Dancing. Yeah, but it's practice, bro. It's practice. Not a game. Not a game. Thank God for music. I got my this is for the this is for uh dipset versus locks tonight. Dipset versus locks tonight, man. So this is what I'm rolling with. No, I get it, man. That's I do feel I do feel for him from that standpoint. Yeah, it's it's tough. I'm gonna be honest, Jets gang. If you guys beat us 49 to nothing, I want them to fire everybody. Everybody need to be fired. Who will be the wide receiver three to start the season? And who will be the wide receiver three to end the season? Terrence Marshall will be wide receiver three to start the season. And Terrence Marshall will be wide receiver three to end the season. I'm serious, man. Fire everybody. Everybody. And I don't want to hear it's just week one either. I have no interest in that. If we lose you guys 49 zip, Fire everybody. Temper should be, temper should, folks shouldn't even get to go back to their office. Fire them all. Not to try to slight you. I mean, I expect you guys, I expect your new head coach to, 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 to make it hard on us. I do. Yeah, that would absolutely be a penalty in an actual game. The, that flag would have been thrown, bro. Absolutely, I would pick up a Panthers wide receiver in fantasy. I would pick up, I would pick up uh, DJ Moore. I would draft DJ Moore. I would draft Robbie Anderson, and I would I would take a flyer on Terrence Marshall late, and I would take a flyer on Dan Arnold if you if you make the decision to go if you made a decision to be a to go with a touchdown dependent tight end. I would uh, Dan Arnold's a streaming tight end, but yeah, I would pick up like I would draft Moore. I would draft Robbie. I would draft them both. That's a great question. I have to pick a date. Uh, typically, I do it during the show. Um, so maybe I got to figure out when's the last preseason game, and then I'll pick that Monday after. But, yeah, I mean, DJ, like, and I said this yesterday during the um, during our live stream. Uh, there were two teams in the NFL that had three top 25 fantasy wide receivers last season. And um, those two teams were the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Carolina Panthers. Those are the only two teams in the NFL last year that had three top 25 wide receivers. Now, that being said, different quarterback. So I don't anticipate we're going to do that again. Um, but at the same time, I, I wouldn't be shocked to have two top 25 wide receivers. Even as bad as even even if Donald plays average or plays just on the same level as Teddy, that shouldn't be an impossible feat. Nah, I do want to do the snake leave live. I want to set up a zoom room for that. Nah, he's retired, bro. He ain't coming back. It doesn't sound – look, man, I'm going to be honest with you. It doesn't sound like the Panthers are going to pick up a left tackle. I mean, it sounds – like Rule was saying today how much he was liking the way like, that Greg Glitter was having a pretty good camp. 
So I don't I think they're gonna roll what they got on the roster and left tackle, man. I did send out invites. I, I I turned back on the league, so you should already be in it. If you're not in it, then I'll go boot somebody. I'll boot somebody out. Jared, you should have gotten in. You you were in the league last year, I believe. So if you weren't, tell me and I'll get you in there. I could have swore you were already in the league. I only removed like one person to add an additional person to get everybody in. That's what's up, man. I hope you got some dope games in your PS5. They ain't too many to get. My record prediction has has gone from six and eleven to ten and seven. And someday, and before the season, I will go on officially go on the record. But I need to see some preseason games first to feel out see how I feel about it. I will say, man, if Greg Little can stay healthy, he'll win that job. But I heard Cam Irving is playing pretty well, is, is having a pretty good camp too. I think Greg Little is probably the only guy that, I, that, like, he can play left tackle, and I think he'll do it well, but I just don't know if he'll be able to beat Cam Irving, which is kind of a scary thing to say. Yeah, Chuba is gonna be the backup running back. I think he'll be RB two. He'll win. A, he'll win the backup running back job. He arguably like uh, him and uh, the backup for the Giants are probably the two most important handcuffs in fantasy. What would I like to see in the preseason? I just I want to see. I want to have an idea. This is gonna be like Teddy. Or, or better by then, right? And I want to, I want, like, I have faith that the defense is going to be top tier. Like, I think it's going to be top 10. I want to see some of that. And the teams that we're playing in the preseason is going to help us get an idea of what we what we have. Um, we, we play the Colts in the first week of the preseason, if I remember correctly. So, you know, you want to talk about timing. Let me double check that. Yeah, we played the Colts on August 15th. So you want to talk about you want to talk about timing, man. So if we can't get to Jacob Eason, man, we're gonna have to start having discussions because they're already not the, the Colts already announced that Eason's gonna get to play at least a half. I like Michael Carter a lot. I I I thought he'd probably end up having the biggest, the most opportunity out of all the rookie running backs because I think he's gonna win the starting job for New York. No, nah, I don't think so, man. I don't think I don't I don't think uh Dennis Daly is gonna start. I mean, we gotta see what happens when the when the people fly, man. Like I think to it I for his sake, I hope he does well because I think that Miami will be I think Miami's still trying to go after Watson. Not enough for me to draft them. It sounds like they're going to definitely play Jimmy G. It, it, they they pretty much indirectly said that Jimmy G is going to start. So I don't know, man. I just I don't like if if he keeps balling, we'll see. Nah, I'm not. I'm not in any. I'm in like one keeper league. Never really did. I haven't really done too many. I haven't really done dynasty like that. Yeah, but if depending on what they told Garoppolo, bro, he still gotta he's gotta beat the guy out.
hope so, man. But I hope it's more of a he earned the job and not an injury type of situation. But I'm hoping so. And I'm hoping that David Moore makes the team. I'm starting to get more and more nervous about that happening, too. Yeah, they could trade him to the Colts. Is anybody going to watch the verses tonight, man? I haven't really watched the verses in a while, to be honest with you. So I'm kind of looking forward to this one. And the thing is, I'm not like I'm a I'm a locks guy. I never really was a big dipset guy like that, but I respected the movement that dipset did. But I, I think dipset's gonna gonna win this thing. I'm gonna be honest from that standpoint. So yeah, man, I, I got dipset tonight. And I, honestly, it should be easy. Sup, man? It should be easy peasy. Easy peasy. Right. You need to quit trolling my chat, man. Quit trolling the chat. Patrolling chat. But nah, man, my thing about the locks versus dipset is this is this. I think the locks are better lyricists. And I tend to lean towards the better lyricists, but the versus format is a little bit different. So when you take that into account, it makes it it makes it you know harder. And I think the dipset faction had a longer time of hits than what the locks have had. Like Dipset got some heaters and got a lot of movement spots. Um, who did who did you want the Panthers to draft at the eighth spot? I predicted I when I um predicted the draft pick, I said it was gonna be a cornerback unless um Panay Sewell would fall to us. And and I said certain, but I said I wouldn't be shocked if Horns to pick. So, you know, it fell just like I expected, to be honest with you. The thing is, man, the locks, Jada, like, here's the thing about me, man. I think Styles is the best out of the three. I understand that Jada's probably had the most success commercially from a solo artist standpoint. But I think Styles is the best one out of the three. I think Styles makes better albums than Jada. Uh, as, as a whole body of work. He doesn't have bigger singles than Jada, but I think Styles makes better albums than Jada. Jada. Gangsta the Gentleman is the best solo album out of the entire group. Um, so, And I've always felt that way when it came to that. So, you know, I'm rooting. Like, I want the locks to do something, but I just dip set, man. Cameron's got a lot. Cameron's got a lot. And, and and then on top of that, Jules Santana's got a few. Jim Jones got a few. Styles got a couple. Like when from a versus standpoint, Styles got a got a couple. And then, you know, the locks can leverage off some of the bad boy stuff. Like they can leverage off the Benjamins and things of that sort. But like Dipset has a lot. Like, like them Dipset anthems. Cameron solo work, pre Rockefeller, post Rockefeller, during Rockefeller. It's gonna be hard, man. It's gonna be tough. I mean, I'll take yo, yo. Let's send a second round and see if we can get Xavier, man. I like Elijah Moore, man. I, I'm trying to figure out where to put him. Like he's one of the guys that I want to take later. Um, but it could end up being on your starting lineup within the first two, three weeks. I mean, we got a shot. Like, if, I've been saying it. I've been saying it since we traded for Darnold, man. If the man, if if Darnold's average and the defense is top ten, we are gonna make the playoffs. But it's just a matter of how I feel about Darnold. Like, I, I need to see some games too, man. But so far, based on what Rashad's been seeing and what I what I've been seeing, it hasn't been as it hasn't looked good. 
Odell Beckham, low end wide receiver two, flex. Worried about his injuries, man. And, not, and he's got to share with the other receivers. Dude, if Sam's bad, I think Sam's going to get two years if, if we'll stick around. I'm going to be. Yeah. And then I think everybody's going to question why did we give Teddy the second year? You know? We will be having that debate. Believe you me. That debate is coming. All right. Jared's a trip. I was chatting to Patreon. Oh, by the way, guys, um, for those who don't know, become a Patreon. Patreon.com slash Panther Nation PC. You get a lot of cool stuff. You can you we do interviews. We've been doing a lot of interviews. We've got the legend series going on that we've interviewed folk, we've interviewed uh, former a NFC champions such as Steven Davis, Deshaun Foster, Ricky Manning Jr. Uh, we've interviewed Greg Hardy from Monsters Inc. And current UFC fighter, we've interviewed, we've interviewed a ton of people. We just interviewed hype man Lucci. We just interviewed uh, our first uh, rookie, first draft pick, Tommy Trimble. So, you know, just become a Patreon, and we give away prize for MVP. We just gave away a uh, ticket to the to the opening game. So. I wouldn't give up more than a first round pick for Watson. Maybe two. I know they want three in, in a bag of chips. So safety's not that important. I don't understand why people think safety's that important. Safety's not that important, man. Left tackle is though. And we can't consider compete quarterback a need. Let's see what do let's see what he does. He has a shot. But typically a cornerback getting defensive rookie of the year is very difficult. It typically ends up going to a pass rusher. Well, don't worry about it, man. We're not trading for Watson, bro. That ship is sailed. If we're past the if, that's over. The moment we went for Donald, Watson coming is is, is a done. It's gone. I've always felt that way. I mean, best place at NFC South. I mean, the best quarterback right now would probably be Tom Brady, right? I, I, I would say Thomas. I think he would be the best quarterback. Uh, the best running back would be McCaffrey. Um, the best wide receivers. I mean, probably Mike Ev Michael Thomas is what I would say. Um, but uh, best tight end. Um, I mean, let me think here. I mean, it has to be Pitts, right? It's kind of wild to think when you sit down and think about it, but. I don't think none of our guys are, are that good. Not to be the best in the division. The Bucks, uh, I mean, unless you're gonna give it to Grant, but yeah. At this point, I don't know if I want to say that. Yeah, I mean, it's either Cal Pitts or Grant. Um, the 
best defense, it should be us. I don't think I'm interested in trading for a backup quarterback. I think we got to roll with the punches there. He sure doesn't. It's between Bucks and us. I mean, I wouldn't be, but I think we're going to take a big step up. Yeah, this has been this has been this this has been a tough one, man. And he won one of our prizes too. He won the Jeremy Chin um painting that Joe Bello did. Who's a phenomenal artist. Shout out to Joe. But rest in peace to 704 Charlotte Bound. No. The, the the first rule of trading somebody is that they have to have value. And right now, none of these quarterbacks that we have right now really have that much value. Not our backups, at least. I think what we're going to have is what we're going to have. Unless somebody gets hurt, then I can see us try to go after a quarterback. But I think what we have now is what we're going to have. All right, let me see here. I did say I was gonna do some auction stuff, so let's uh let's have a discussion about auctions too. Might as well go ahead and do a two for one since I'm here. Let me see here. Let me pull this up real quick. I'm gonna do some auctions. I'm gonna auction a couple players. I'm not doing a whole team because that would take a lot, and I don't have that type of time. That'll take hours. So let me do this real quick. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, they changed the names up, huh? Okay. All right, I found a league. I'm gonna do a mock I'm gonna do a mock auction, but I ain't gonna stay too long. I might do a whole round. We'll see. All right, let's see here. I will add to stream. I'm assuming you guys can see this. I'll probably try to sit on it. I'll probably go until I'll do it for 30 minutes because that, that'll probably be the better bet. But then I got to set up the zoom for this dip set, this dip set versus locks action. So I'll go for, I'll, I'll do a, a quick auction. I'll do a couple players. I ain't going, I'm the second one in line, which is good. 
I don't think we'll get that for Greer, to be honest with you, man. I mean, seventh, yeah, that might be the best case scenario. Because the problem is, too, if the teams feel like we might cut them, we got that dilemma, too. Like, people think that just because they're on an NFL team, they're tradable. They're not. Some of these guys actually have to be good. They have to have some level of purpose. I haven't done an auction lead in a long time. I will say that. All right, let's hop in the draft real quick. All right, so here's the deal. So the way the way the auction draft works, you have a budget. All right. Um, and so where am I at? Oh, I'm number eight. You have a budget. Good night, buddy. I'll see you in the morning. I'll see you in the morning. Hey, that's a nice shirt. You want to say hi to the you want to say hi to the family? You want to say hi to the crew? You gotta raise them right. Say hi. Hi. All right. What's your name? Amari. How old are you, Amari? Six. I'm six. Have you been causing trouble, sir? No. No. Oh, now you're nervous? You nervous now? No. What you got on your shirt? This? Yeah, what you got on your shirt? Eggy pie. There you go. There you go. You ready? You ready to go to bed now? Yeah. All right. Good night, buddy. Good night. I have no idea how 704 passed away, man. You should always pull for the Aggies. You should always pull for the Aggies, man. Big South Conference, baby. Look, man, you get put on blast when you come into my into my live stream. That's how it works. You get put on blast. All right. Let me pull the draft board back up. And I'm going to blow it up so I can see it. But I want to be able to see your chat too. So let me let me see if I can do this. Okay, well, will this work? Oh, I don't like how that looks. Oh, I don't like how that looks. Can you guys see everything? It doesn't look you see everything. I don't like how that looks. All right, back to the way it was. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Manscaped, man, you get 20% off of free shipping using the code PMP um, at manscaped.com. All right, so the way it works. In this mock draft here, the way it works is people people are bidding right now. And over here, they show the price of what it should cost for somebody. As you can see, Christian McCaffrey is up for bid. And right now, his offer is sitting at $70 for Christian McCaffrey. All right. Um, as you can see, the prices is getting very high. Now we're at 72 73 they give an estimate of how much this is going to cost people. Um, the offer's up to seventy-seven dollars. That's pretty rich. Pretty rich for my blood. Or seventy-six dollars. Appreciate it, Jay Stubbs. He was. He was. All right, these these um auctions are going pretty quick, man. I should get in on the fun. How about seventy dollars? 
All right, so much for that. Everybody gets to nominate a player. So when they nominate a player, that's the one that goes up for bid. So Travis Kelsey is now up for bid. I'm going to see if I can get him. Oh, God. $20. Ooh, Lord. Have mercy. These guys are going for some expensive prices. That's not a bad deal for them. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I got I got Kamara Kamara higher now after the, the injury. So I'm gonna I'm shooting to try to get Kamara. Because Kamara will probably be a cheaper price too, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so when Kamara's up, I'm gonna go. Mm, let's see if I can get Barkley on the cheat. He might go on the cheat. He might he, yo, Barkley might be on the cheat. Mm, so much for that. Mm. He shouldn't go for 70. I'll tell you that. Jesus. Yeah, y'all can have him for that. Nope. I'm all set. Y'all can have for that. He went for $68. All right. This is the one that's going to get interesting. If Barkley went for 68, I mean, I'm willing to spend 70 on Kamara. Joe Mixon. Mm. I'll play along. He really wants Mixon. He's going to overpay for Mixon because he picked him as the highest one. Shouldn't have to spend more than 45 for the guy. Kind of shocked that Derrick Henry, I'm going to, mm, oh, Jonathan Taylor, mm, he might go cheap. He might go cheap. Dang it, man. <sighs> so team team miners is spending up all his money. So you like if you notice my man is he's down to sixty seven dollars. Oh boy, this one's gonna go high. Let's go ahead and get this ball going. Keep let's let's, let's just let's get to the nitty gritty here. Let's get to the nitty gritty here.
My man spent more for Derek for, for Saquon Barkley. All right. Now it's time to get my guy. Let's go. Make me pay seventy for him. I'm fine with paying seventy for him. You can make me pay seventy. I'll pay seventy. He was on live last night. Ooh, Najee. Ah, he got hurt today. Let's not. Let's just go straight to the point. Let's go straight to the point, guys. Let's just go straight to the point. Let's just go straight to the point here. Let's just go straight to the point. Let's not. Let's not jerk around here. I haven't picked one yet. I'm going to pick one soon, though. Yo, if Hill goes higher than damn De Devontae, I'm laughing. He might go the same price at this rate. Wow. Wow. Went for a dollar less. I'll go off of this guy. I like Eckler this year, man. You're going to pay for him, man. I'm going to make at least get up to 50.
All right, there you go. Do the back and forth. Overspin, overspin. It's not a bad deal right there. Probably should have made him pay more. That's a pretty good haul here, too. I'm not bidding this one because I can't. I already got Devontae Adams, so I can't risk accidentally getting this guy. $52 for Aaron, Aaron Jones. Ah, uh, the Chubster. I would love to get Nick Chubb. Can't be mad at that. Well, I'm out of the running for a while, guys. I picked up three players. And I spent most of my budget. I'm, I only have I only have eighteen dollars left. And we got Kyle Pitts for $14. That ain't a bad price. I'm going to be out of the running of a lot of these players if folks start spending their money. Let's just hope they pay good, fair value. I don't know what time is practice.
tomorrow is 8.30. No, yeah, 8.30 or 11. It's tomorrow morning from 8.30 to 11. Oh, I got to nominate somebody. Whoops. I wouldn't have nominated him, but it's okay. I'm going to nominate a quarterback. I'm too busy answering the question for the, pe for the people. Yo, is he going for almost $60? Whoa. Yikes. I got Nick Chubb for a bargain. That man went for $60, almost 60 bucks. Kind of crazy.
Oh boy. Yeah, if you spend all your money early, then you you tend to be sitting there watching everybody else spend theirs until it's your turn to pick a player that you want. And I missed the boat because I answered the question with you guys. Adams, Hill, Hopkins, Diggs, Ridley. I took Michael Thomas out of there because of injury. Ah, oh, the great kicker. Uh, you want to spend $3 on Bucker, you go right ahead, buddy. Why can't I offer more? Oh, I know why. Because you got to spend at least a dollar to get a player. So you can't offer more than what, what the max is, which would be six bucks. Okay, that makes sense. So based off that, damn, I might not be able to afford Aaron Rodgers. A lot of folks, are, we're overpaying for all these players, I will say. I'm going to do one more round, and then I'm going to call it a day. I'll let you know what my team looks like after all the auctioning. Yeah, really should be top. Really should be top five. I mean, he's gonna be the top guy. He's gonna get all the. He's gonna get most of the targets. That's why Cal Pitts is so valuable, because Cal Pitts might get. Pitts might be the second guy up with targets, which is a, a, a given for him. I got the lowest amount of money, don't I? I sure do. I'm going to make them pay for my guy Lamar because they'll probably overpay for him. Let's pay for Lamar. Let's see what Lamar is looking like. Yeah, they overpaid. And they continue to overpay.
Good luck, bro. You're going to need it. He's going to go for a lot. People gonna run out of money sometime. Except for these guys back here. These guys ain't got no money to run out of. These two guys in the back ain't really spending no money, man. Um, honestly, I'm good. I'm not going to really eat dinner tonight. I'm just going to chill. I'm going to drink my scotch and chill. Yeah, knocked me off guard when I first heard it. Knocked me off guard big time. All right, I'm about to shut this stream down. I've, I'm not going to – I got – actually, hold on. Before I – I'll do one more player because I'm only two away. So I'll do one more player. I'll try to get a quarterback again.
try to get Tom Brady. Or I could be a prick and try to make everybody overpay for my homes. This dude about to go for a discount. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> oh, so I thought he was going to go for a discount. Let's check out these other teams real quick. Check out these other teams. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut the stream down. So let's check out these other teams. This guy doesn't have a bad squad, I will say. Oh, he got Dobbs and Jefferson for cheap, cheap. Gibson. Is that it? That's AJ Brown. I hope. Yeah, that's AJ Brown. All right, not too bad. He paid a lot. He paid a lot for Waller. Not bad. God, he's gonna over. He's gonna get overspent. They had it for twenty five dollars. All right, it's been real. All right, guys, it's been fun. Uh, once again, rest in peace to seven zero show Charlotte bound. Condolences, to, condolences to his, him and his family. To his family, man, because that's a tough loss. Um, and on that note, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. We're back. All the all the videos should be back up right now. We're good to go with regards to that. You can follow us on all the socials: TikTok at Panther Nation PC, Instagram at Panther Nation PC. We're on Twitch, Panther Nation PC. Become a patron um, at become a patron at, at patreon.com slash Panther Nation PC. Go to Manscape. 20% off for free shipping using the code PNP. Check us out on Newsbreak. If you haven't already, subscribe. And uh, you guys have a good evening, man. And good luck to Dipset and the Locks. And always remember, keep pounding.